Hello, my name is Jake Matthews. I want to welcome you to Sports Car Advisors. And uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about my uh, Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. My Porsche 911 Carrera 4S, as you can see, is a 996 C4S. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about things that I haven't done to this car. That is to say, things that have not been modified or changed uh, from stock and um, would like to talk a little bit about why I have not changed certain things on this. Some things that maybe commonly people do change on them or modify. Uh, the first thing is the uh, suspension and ride height I have left stock. I live in New York and um, uh, here we have, you know, the seasons can heave the roads, you get potholes and uneven surfaces. And I have found that the ride height on this car as from the factory, which actually is a turbo suspension, uh, has been perfect. It's a very compliant ride here on our highways and back roads. As well, uh, it's sporty enough for sporty driving. And um, so I've found the spring rates and um, damping to be perfect. And I do not intend to do coilovers or lowering suspension or anything of the like. At least at this point, I found it to be fantastic um, suspension setup. Uh, next thing uh, is tinted windows. I have not tinted the windows on this car. I believe it probably has a slight tint from the factory. Here late in the day, you can see uh, it does look a little bit dark. It's a black interior, of course. But I like the look of the car without tints, and frankly, from a functional perspective, it's not needed on this car. The air conditioning is really, really good on these 996s, at least on this 2004 Carrera 4S. 100 degree day, no problem. Cool the interior off just with the air conditioning in there. So tinted windows, I have not done it. I like the look of being able to see right through the glass to the other side of the car and see the interior inside. And um, I don't intend to, at least at this point, to tint the windows on this car. Next thing some people do to these cars is they'll put on a fixed rear wing or modify uh, the rear in some way. I, I see no reason to do that. I have not um, really thought about that. Um, and you'll see sometimes people will put a sort of a GT style wing on here or an aero style wing, fixed wing. I don't see any reason to do that. Uh, the car has um, a, uh, air, a speed activated rear spoiler that comes up at about 70, I want to say 70, somewhere from 74 to 76 miles per hour. And that wing is uh, right there. And I think that's sufficient. It does the job for downforce and aero at that point. Otherwise, I think the clean look of the 911 silhouette is classic and really I have no interest in uh, in tinkering with the beautiful look of the 911 silhouette. So no rear wing for me on this car. Other thing you might see from time to time is people will put a roof rack on, on their 911s. That's kind of a neat idea. I haven't done any long trips on the car, so the, the storage for my local trips and daily driving in this car in the front trunk and, and back seats has been sufficient for me. Uh, but the car can accept and take a uh, roof rack, as many 911s do. They have these little um, slots here that open up um, both sides. There are four of these on the car. They're on the other side, too. And they will accept a roof rack system, a Porsche system, or some other aftermarket. You see people putting all sorts of stuff on top of their 911s, everything from you know baggage carriers to roof boxes to other people doing camping gear and that sort of thing. Um, I haven't had the need to do it, so I have not done a roof rack. Maybe someday in the future if I take a long trip, it might be worth it to have a roof box for some extra storage. Though I will say, I haven't seen any roof boxes out there that are really slimline and would look smart on this car. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions, I'd be open to, to hearing that And um, in the comments. And finally... Uh, uh, well, two other things, actually. Um, some people will do an exhaust hack on these cars to make them throatier or louder, more aggressive exhaust sound. My car came from the factory with Porsche Sport exhaust system, 
and that system has been just awesome. It sounds great. Uh, it's not droney. It's not too loud. It's um, aggressive enough and has a beautiful growl when you really get up in the revs. So I haven't changed the exhaust on this car. The Porsche Sports exhaust from the factory, in my opinion, is just right. Um, and finally, uh, I have not done any paint protection film on the car. It does have a ceramic coating, but uh, the uh, I use a mask, or I also call it a bra on the front here, this uh, black vinyl, which is a Porsche factory uh, uh, product part, and that protects the uh, hood paint. Um, I also have a mask or bra that goes across the whole front end here on the nose cone down all along here and covers this whole area all the way to the front wheel well. I don't have it on right now because frankly it is a little bit cumbersome putting that on and taking it off and um, my interest really is in protecting the metal painted portion here on the hood. So I have not done paint protection film. That might be something to consider in the future just for convenience and long-term maintenance of the car. But the uh, mask on the front uh, is basically padded thick. It can take a good hit from a piece of gravel and it really has preserved the hood and protected it uh, in my daily driving because I do use this car all summer and in good weather as a daily driver. Uh, so that's a brief video about my Carrera 4S and the things that I have not changed on the car that have remained largely stock and standard. And I'd be interested to hear in the comments from my visitors here um, things that you either have done to these cars or have seen done that you think are really neat or things that are kind of awful and gaudy and useless. Um, Feel free to comment below, uh, and also hopefully you will like and subscribe um, and share my videos. So I want to thank everyone for joining me today, uh, and please uh, visit back again soon. Have a great day.